What is up everyone, it's Cody. After a quick shop move and uh, got a haircut. We are back on the Jeep. We got a, a downsized shop because I'm just gonna be doing the diesel stuff part-time. So um, yeah, we are going to tear the yellow Jeep down. That is the next step in the one ton Jeep build process. We're finally gonna tear down the yellow beast. This will be the last video of the Jeep in this form, so. A um, ton of rust repair that's got to get done on this thing and basically freshening all of it up. So I know I have to do a rebuild on the transmission, probably rear main seal, fix any other leaks on the engine, clean it up nice and pretty. But we are officially saying goodbye to 35s and a five and a quarter inch lift. And I mean, the next time we see this Jeep together, it'll be on tons and 40s. So. Let's cue the teardown. If you guys could see the amount of metal and crap that's coming out of my transmission, you're gonna understand in a couple of videos why I have to rebuild it because it is trashed. And then my, between the age of 13 and I'd say like 18, mixed orange and green and a bunch of other freaking coolants. Now we have like, just like a reddish, grayish, pinkish purple. Um, so, like I said, that's why we're going through this entire Jeep top to bottom and making everything exactly the way that it should be so that way we don't run into any unsuspected issues or anything like that. So we have really ripped most of this Jeep apart now. Um, I'm gonna take the tub off and then I'm gonna pull engine trans and transfer case in one shot and then this, the rest of this is pretty much out. But this is gonna be by far the hardest part of the entire build here and that's fixing all the rot in the tub. If this tub did not mean so much to me, I would 100% just get a new tub. Because I mean, it is just, in every facet of the Jeep, rotted out. So, um, most of the seat bolts broke off inside of here. So, all that's gotta get fixed. Floor pan's gotta get fixed. I wanted to roll underneath here and just kinda show you guys how bad the, the jersey rust is. So, obviously the frame is gone, but underneath here, I mean, there's just so much rust everywhere and i mean these are patch jobs like that was probably from when i was 14 or 15. i mean this one here it's harder to tell but this one was probably 17. but i mean there's just so many pieces of the frame that are gone the tub is not really in any better shape so if you look like right there that was one of my freaking awesome you know 15 year old i'm gonna fix the back of the frame jobs so, I mean, and it's held, but it just looks like crap. But I mean, you could see just how bad the rust is. 
and um, you know this this tub means a lot to me so we're gonna fix it but <laughs> it ain't gonna be fun I don't have the patience to fix rust so we'll see I'm gonna try my best to do it correctly but we've got a ton of rust repair to do um, I got to try to get the roll cage out and I monster linered it back when I was like 17 so that's probably gonna suck but we'll get the tub off this thing and then pull the engine trans transfer and then it's just gonna be pretty much rust repair fixing anything that's messed up so I'm sure you guys saw that a lot of like some of the stuff I cut but like the AC is not going back on these heater hose lines I'll replace. Um, anything that possibly may need to be replaced, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. So um, I'm gonna do a bunch of grinding and try to get the monster liner out of the bolts on the roll cage so we can yank that thing out. Um, not gonna bother filming that. So we'll uh, catch you when this thing cuts, I guess. All right guys, so if you want to know how to not pull a Jeep tub off of a Jeep TJ, that would probably be the way I would I would say not to do it. But uh, tub's on the ground. So we got to, I, I don't even want to begin on the amount of rust repair we have to do on that. But we've got the rest of the Jeep sitting here. Claimed a casualty on this because I'm dumb and I didn't take it off. But uh, you can see how it's absolutely rusted the F out this entire setup is so um, I'm gonna get the tub situated yank this engine and then hopefully that'll be the end of teardown for now um, got to rebuild the trans and stuff freshen up the engine yank the transfer case off because that's garbage and we don't need it and um, then it's all gonna be fixing this tub reassembling the Jeep and uh, moving on with our lives so It'll be good. All right, guys, we've got it torn down into our three main parts. We've got engine, trans, transfer case will be gone. Um, with this, got to rebuild the trans, freshen up the engine, clean it, paint it, make it look pretty. The tub is going to be the biggest pain in the ass because of all the rust, which I'll, uh, I'll show you guys some of it. I mean, it is just rusted out and all this stuff that's black is also rusted. I just monster linered it 10 years ago and the rust is underneath the monster liner now. So this is going to be the biggest PETA. That is the, uh, the rust repair on this, which we have all the panels and stuff. So there's going to be a bunch on fixing this because as soon as this is fixed, going on to new Jeep frame, one tons, all that. So with this, all the links and stuff are ordered. I got some odds and ends I still gotta order, like fuel cell, um, comp cut corners for the tub, transfer case, um, the steering box stuff. So there are still some intricacies that need to be worked out, but we're gonna get on it. So big thing is we got all this stuff torn down, so. Thank you guys for watching. I don't know how this is gonna come out with uh, time lapse and all that stuff because I think I have like two hours of video, but it ended up taking us, I would say probably like a complete day. I, I did it over the course of a couple days for like an hour or two at a time. But um, yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. The fun part begins now.